walked along the long shadows of the sun, the long shadows of a yellow frosty morning, along the shore of rocks and bottles and cans and seaweed and the odd rat scurrying. Black thorns and briars and ferns grew from a hard red rock wall, dappling white and yellow lichen and moss growing in the joints. The dogs sniffed in cracks and crevices of roxy barriers for rats. A black crow cawed from a branch on a leafless tree. He extended his shiny wings and if spread, and opened till I could count five single feathers, like five digits on the tips of each. He shuffled in a flutter and looked away out over my head. He pondered for a moment and another moment, and raised his wing and pecked under it. He pulled his head in and brought his two wings around until they touched. Then he put his head out and shook his body and rearranged his feathers and his wings sat snug along his body, sleek and black and shiny. I wanted to say that my yesterday was a crow and a half-blind dog. A crow and a half-blind dog and a man shiny, the two bell buttons and the knocker and the knob on the big blue door and sweeping out the tile porch at 2.45 precisely. Every day, every day, every day. That's every day, crow and watching and opening at ten precisely, and closing at three precisely every day, every day, every day, that's every day, crow. That's prayer, crow. But I opened my mouth and only a call came out. The sun dimmed, the sky grew grey, and the mud flats dulled. I wanted to talk to him about the wind and where it came from, and where it might be going. Where does it go? Where does it stop? And I'd forgotten about the woman who had walked through me. And I wanted to ask him how he knew about the weather. He rose from his perch and circled effortlessly, gliding and dipping and ascending and cawing, wings sleek and black and shiny. Tears came, big flat drops splatting black down into the swirl pools where the tide meets the river ripples, twisting corkscrew boring black holes down into the bed of the river, churning up dirt and rounding off the edges of rocks, dragging everything into the centre, bringing everything to one point.